Hello, Stuart from Super Machine here. In this video, we're going to talk about consistent characters. We've now made it even easier for you to use consistent characters within your prompts with a new setting in the dashboard. We're going to look at how this works. We're going to look at how consistent characters look across different model types. And we're also going to go in and do some live demonstrations. So stay tuned, check it out and watch all of the awesomeness of Super Machine. Hello, this video is showing our consistent characters and this new menu that we've had added under the prompt guide that allows you to select the consistent character you would like to include within your prompt. You can see down below some of the consistent characters that I created earlier. This is Devika, this is Darren, this is Maggie, this is Lee, Tara, and so on and so on. We have a just about 50 of these characters to choose from when you are generating with Super Machine. So how would I go about generating a image? Well, you need to include the tag of the consistent character. Basically in the back end, when we train these and all of these are trained in house and they're completely unique to Super Machine is we get a bunch of images, we refine that down to an even smaller size, we really go for quality on this sample of images, and then we toggle a bunch of settings, do the training on the character, and then make it integrate with our system so that when you, the user, come and you provide the tag, you're going to get the character that the tag is for. Now, knowing all of the different tags is kind of complex. So this is where our new system comes in. So if I want to generate some images in real time now, I'm gonna go clone generation just to get this prompt up here. I'm gonna come into my advanced settings. I can see the steps, I can see the guidance. I'm just gonna change the image output number to two, and I'm gonna change the sampler here because there is a new one, Restart, which I really like using. It's my new go-to sampler because it's really versatile and works really well. So now to change this prompt to a different character, I can come in, I can look through my list of characters and I can choose the one that I want. I think I'm gonna choose Hakumi because I really love her purple hair. And I'm going to then cut this just purely because it's at the end of the prompt and I'm going to move it to the front of the prompt instead of what we had there already. And I'm going to hit generate on this. So now that I hit generate on this, we are going to get a picture of Hakumi. Well, we're actually going to get two. And whilst these are generating, I'm going to create some pictures of Ginny as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just change the uh, prompt, move it to the front put a space in there and hit generate on this. So now we should see two images of Hakumi and two images of Ginny. And one of the really great things about Super Machine is that I can queue up images like this. If I'm not in a rush and I just want to do things on another tab and hit generate and hit generate, then I can do so and I can see these really beautiful images here. So you can see this one looks really awesome of Hakumi and the second one with the beautiful purple hair. And if we come in, we can see the different images of Ginny here. She's more in a natural setting. Um, and I think that's partly down to the training that we've done. And you can see these images are of a specific character. But now, say that I wanted to change this Hakumi image and make it like an anime style, the way that I can do that is I can come in, I can choose a different model at the top here. So if I wanted to change the style of the model, I could do something like Super Machine Comic and I can hit Generate. Now I know this model is going to be more of a comic style, so you're going to change this photo realistic type image to a comic book type image and this can be really fun to play with all of the different models within super machine because there are a lot of different models to choose from and by choosing different models you can really change the way an image looks so another one for example is if i use this cute diffusion which is 
generally has a bit of an Asian bias to it. And if I hit generate on this one, I'm just going to change the steps back to 30. Then you will see the difference between the super machine reality, which gave us images like this and this to then using the comic uh, model, which gave us images like this one and this one to then showcasing the cute diffusion model which has a bit of an Asian bias and you see Hakumi has moved more into looking like an Asian. So the embeddings and the consistent characters that we have work on top of the existing models and change how they look. So you might see an image that looks great with one model but then if you try it with a different model it will look differently. So Epic Realism is another quite good photo image. I will just do another example of generating two images with this Epic Realism model to show you the differences between Epic Realism, the original Super Machine Reality where we got this one and this one compared to our comic book image where we got this and this compared to the Asian style model where we got this one and this one to then our epic realism where we get this and this. So each model will give you a slight difference in how it will make the character and you can change the look by just providing different text right so I could say yeah, the, the example that we have here is like a purple bob, right? So it's purple short hair. So I could say with a short, with, with a purple bob haircut. And then I'm just going to change this because a lot of people are asking about how can I make these characters in different settings. So I could say in a cafe drinking with, with a coffee. And I could say generate on this and I will do this epic realism and I will do an example also with uh, super machine reality so we can see those two models close together and see how the differences are between them so again I want to change this to uh, a longer image I believe that these are yeah, these were created as the square ones but you see here we have Hakumi in the coffee shop with a coffee and we have the purple haircut which we didn't have before as the bob cut so we can change these things by simply giving more detail to the prompt than we had before so this is a very very simple way of quickly seeing how the different models affect the output and you see here again we have Akumi in the coffee shop and again she has her coffee there so play around with the consistent characters enjoy them click the information if you want to see more of the demonstration gallery that we have and by going to the gallery you can click on any of the images there to see the prompts and see which model was used for the gallery images now the final thing that I want to showcase quickly is um, just that we have one of these models where we have two characters together because I think it's a lot of fun and if I come in and I click Lily and Luna we're going to get photos of these two characters together and we could say okay and the settings look fine to me we hit generate here and we're going to see these two models together in these images that are generated I will just generate a few of these epic realism and also let's do some of these uh, super machine reality images but you'll see here we're getting multiple of these images and it just shows the difference between the different models as the outputs come out 
So again, we've got Lily and Luna, Lily and Luna. These ones really quite lovely, quite beautiful. And we have our excellent outputs. So if you are looking to create a story or an image or whatever, and if you're doing comic book, then use a comic book model. If you're using, you know, photorealism, then you want to use one of these photorealistic models. Then you can create images like this, where you will get the uh, output of the consistent characters each time. This is a new thing in Super Machine, making it easier to understand by having this tab at the top under the prompt guide. Please try it out for yourself. It's super fun super awesome and we continue to add more characters if you have any suggestions please leave a comment below the video and we'd love to hear that thank you so there we have it that is how you can use consistent characters easily within super machine we're going to be adding more over time we have about 50 at the moment if you have any suggestions or feedback feel free to leave a comment or send us a message through super machine and we'll take it up in due time i think there has been requests for some older characters to be reliable sort of brand ambassadors so we're working on that right now try out the consistent characters within your own prompts let us know how you get on and how you plan to use it and enjoy using this feature thank you feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you found this video helpful and to stay up to date with the latest updates all about Super Machine.